Hello friends, Adam here with FED. Today we're going to be talking about cooking and how it works to the best of our knowledge so far. So there's a, there's quite a few things to go over here. So it's important to note who is cooking. That is probably the most important factor here, but also who you're cooking for seems to matter. This one is not confirmed as far as I know though. It may not matter at all who you are cooking for. Uh, other than what they like, the tastes at the bottom. But that might just be for supports. The most important thing that I've noticed is who is cooking and what you cook and the ingredients you add. So who you're, who is cooking is important because they have certain dishes they are good at cooking. So if you look here, this is Fram and she is good at chocolate oranges. It's her, she's an expert at it. She's skilled at this one and capable of these ones and then eager of this one. Uh, so obviously experts being the best, then skilled, then capable, then eager. So you almost always want to do the, the expert unless there's like established on another one that you really want, but that's going to be your best chance of getting the best stat gains is by doing the one they're the, the most expert on. From there, you just want to do all three extra ingredients. If you can, if you can't, I would suggest changing, uh, who's cooking. Uh, and do their most expert dish, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then you want to add a topping, and I think this does matter. And by I think I mean it does matter. You don't want to add a topping that doesn't help. Uh, for instance, since we're making a chocolate orange, I don't think you want to add a uh, rare fish or a rare vegetable. You probably want to add a rare fruit to it. And confirm. Start cooking. I'm making this extra special. So let's see what right? the results are. Okay. So. <clears throat> And while we wait for that, we, there's a nifty screen from serenusforest.net that tells us all the different boosts you can get from different characters based on what you cook and who cooks it. So let's see what happened here when we cooked her most expert meal. She got an A rank called Divine Chocolate Orange. All units gain that. And if Lithian, or Lithian, sorry, you also gain those stats, which is incredibly good, right? Obviously, the higher the rank, the better. SS being the best, but there's only two characters that can get SS, to my knowledge. Those being Bune and Anna. And I know that because of this screen, again. Because of this screen here. So, these, there's these different prefixes that can go on the orders that you make. So, chocolate orange is like just like the base dish. And Fram has the opportunity to have a, diff a couple different ones. So we see her first one is the one that we got here is Divine. And with Divine, it's plus one to uh, one stat not boosted by dish or whatever. I'm not really sure if that's accurate. I think that's actually wrong based on what we're looking at here. And it targets the Lithians or Lithians. So that's awesome. Fram also has the opportunity to make your favorite, which is right here. It specifically boost uh, more stats to Leer, which is really cool. And uh, so as you can see, like every character has a uh, a chance of doing multiple of these. But this is the most important factor when choosing who cooks, is you want to uh, you have a good opportunity at something like you know first rate being the best one. Something like delicious lip smacking, or if you want to buff your Alir, you want to get something like your favorite from Clan, from Clan, Fram, Ivy, and a mystery character, which we're not going to spoil. Now, the biggest part of this is how do we affect who is cooking? It seems random, and it is, but we can re-roll, honestly, as far as I can tell, infinitely, until we get the exact cook that we want. <clears throat> there's a couple of ways to do it the more difficult and awkward one to do is you know you just do like a skirmish and then it will change because after every battle the somnial all of its activities kind of reset including who is cooking but the easier thing you can do and again to my knowledge you can do this unlimited times i have not noticed anything that keeps this from uh being a limited amount of tries here to get who you want so if you're diligent enough, you really can get, probably, you could probably have Boone cook every single time. But you go to bed, or maybe there, there might be some rule about not being able to cook two chapters in a row, but something along those lines. But if you rest, which we'll do, and you're, you're gonna see that there's not gonna be any, like no one's gonna come talk to me or whatever because we've already rested. So it's just a quick little thing here. 
So yeah, this is, I've already done this multiple times. It's worked every time so far. And we're going to notice it's a different character. And again, the different characters have different boost to their dishes. I will post the link in, uh, post the link to this page, this website page in the description. Again, it's just serenusforest.net. They have, they're probably the leading resource in Fire Emblem Engage stuff at this point. Uh, they try to be careful about spoilers, but they aren't perfect. So I would be wary of that. <clears throat> well, let's go see if the cook changed, which it should have, because if it didn't, I'm a liar. And would you look at that? It's Bougeron now. He's here. And if we were to rest again, it would change again, and again, and again, and again, and again. So that's just how it works. So you just re-roll until you get what you want. This game kind of has a lot of that, with like bond rings and this as well. So I would say that just like in general, just looking at this quickly, the best one would be, best people are like Bune and Anna. Uh, but then you have other good ones like Alcarist, Zelkov, Bougeron is honestly kind of good, turns out. Uh, Clan, Saline. I think Fram is honestly really good because of the boost to Alir. So Ivy's really good as well. There's all sorts of uh, variables here. Very, very cool. And didn't think... I, I haven't thought much of it until I looked into it a little bit and I was like, oh, I guess I could just like re-roll over and over again. But you can. So there you have it. That is our quick guide on cooking. So, to recap... You, you want to re-roll until you get someone you like. When you order a meal, you want to make sure to use all the extra ingredients that you can. And I'm not sure if the rare ingredient you choose matters, but from my testing, it seems to. It seems to matter. So make sure you choose one that kind of makes sense for the dish. And yeah, that's about it. Honestly, pretty simple, but just a, a few tips and tricks for you for those who may not... Uh, see what may not have like kind of grasped it yet make sure to, yeah so expert meal all the extra stuff and that's it anyways thanks for watching quick guide i know it's very simple and maybe didn't warrant a guide to some of you but i'm sure there's someone out here who uh may not have known what they were doing with the cooking and just clicking things at random so now you know anyways thanks for watching comment your thoughts subscribe to the channel and like the video thanks for watching friends